A warm welcome to all of you here for our service of Holy Communion on this, the second Sunday of Advent. And it's nice to welcome visitors amongst us, particularly those following us on our live streaming camera and those catching up with us on our YouTube channel. You're most welcome. The Lord be with you. We're going to light the second uh, Advent candle now. We light the second Advent candle, the candle of prophets calling for justice, struggling for right to replace wrong, for dignity to replace oppression. The candle of the prophets calling for waste places to be renewed, pointing to light emerging from the darkness. The Lord will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Father who sends the light, Jesus who is the light, Spirit who radiates the light, we bring to you those in darkness. Tend your sick ones. Come to them, O Christ. Rest your weary ones. Come to them, O Christ. Bless your dying ones. Come to them, O Christ. Soothe your suffering ones, come to them, O Christ. Pity your afflicted ones, come to them, O Christ. Shield your joyous ones, come to them, O Christ, for love's sake. Send out your light and your truth, let them lead me, let them bring me to where you make your home. Amen. Our first hymn is in the church hymnal number 135, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Adrian will introduce this and play for us. Thank you, Simon. Uh, this hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, goes back about 12 centuries to the monastic life of medieval church when it was uh, the custom to emphasize the different seasons of the year by singing a special form um, of this hymn before and after the Magnificat at evening prayer, which was known as Vespers, on the days preceding Christmas from the 17th to the 23rd of December. And there was a series of seven, uh, seven special versions of this, one for each day of the week and it was originally sang in Latin.
a wonderful ancient hymn of the Advent antiphons. Uh, another tradition in our church in more recent times is to have retiring collections during Advent, and the retiring collection uh, today is for the Bishop's Appeal. You will find envelopes available in your pew if you wish to give to the Bishop's Appeal uh, in addition to your usual giving. We now say together the Collect for Purity. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear these commandments which God has given to his people and take them to heart. I am the Lord your God, you shall have no other gods but me. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. You shall not make for yourself any idol. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. You shall not dishonor the name of the Lord your God. You shall worship him with reverence and awe. Remember the Lord's day and keep it holy. Christ is risen from the dead. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. Lord, have mercy on us and write these your laws in our hearts. Honor your father and your mother. Live as servants of God, honor all people, love your brothers and sisters in Christ. You shall not commit murder. Be reconciled to your brother and sister, overcome evil with good. You shall not commit adultery. Know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. You shall not steal. Be honest in all that you do and care for those in need. You shall not be a false witness. Let everyone speak the truth. You shall not covet anything which belongs to your neighbor. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Love your neighbor as yourself, for love is the fulfilling of the law. Lord, have mercy on us, and write all these your laws in our hearts. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to intercede for us in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Turn to us again, O God, our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your salvation is near to those that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And the collect for the second Sunday of Advent and for the general collect. Father in heaven, who sent your Son to redeem the world and will send him again to be our judge, give us grace to imitate him in all humility and purity of his first coming, that when he comes again we may be ready to greet him with joyful love and firm faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for our readings and the psalm which Jonathan will bring for us. The responses to the psalm are written in your order of service. A reading from the prophet Baruch, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Take off the garment of your sorrow, affliction, 
O J Jerusalem, put on forever the beauty of the Lord, the glory from God. Put on the robe of the righteousness that comes from God. Put on your head the diadem of the glory of the everlasting. For God will show your splendor everywhere under heaven. For God will give you evermore the name, righteous peace, godly glory, a wise old Jerusalem. Stand upon the height, look towards the east, see your children gathered from west, east at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that God has remembered them. For they went out from you on foot, led away by their enemies, but God will bring them back to you, carried in glory, as on a royal throne. For God has ordered that every high mountain, the everlasting hills, be made low, the valleys filled up to make level ground, so that Israel may walk safely in the glory of God. The woods, every fragrant tree, have shaded Israel at God's command. For God will lead Israel with joy in the light of his glory, with the mercy, righteousness that comes from him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading uh, from the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. Who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old. To save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors. And to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear. Holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation. By the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Epistle of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 1, beginning at verse 3. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you, because you are sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you, because you hold me in your heart, for all of you share in God's grace with me, but in my imprisonment, in the defence confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. This is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more, with knowledge, full insight, to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure, blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness, that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hear the Gospel of our Saviour Christ according to St. Luke, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the fifteenth year of the reign of the Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was ruler of Galilee, and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Etria and Trachonitis, and Licinius ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, 
The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Make way. Make way. Some of you will be uh, of a similar vintage in your Christian journey to, uh, to those of us who remember with great fondness the, the great upsurge in, in um, joyful singing in Christian circles uh, in, in England uh, particularly uh, when, um, when the, uh, the hymns of um, uh, Graham Kendrick were first published, the songs of praise of Graham Kendrick were first published. I used to go to the, the concerts uh, in Birmingham uh, when he would perform these, these uh, songs and uh, some of the, the, um, the most favorite of our, of our hymns of the modern era came from that particular period of time. Uh, and we have, thank you Adrian for selecting two, two of Graham Kendrick's uh, most wonderful songs and we have um, make way, make way for the Christ the King in splendor arrives. Uh, and our final hymn, From Heaven You Came, Helpless Babe. Lovely hymns those are. Make way, make way. And that's what Advent is all about for us, as it were, making way. When the, when the uh, prophet Isaiah wrote about the, the prophecy of the one who is to come and the the one who is to announce the coming of the one who is to come, that this voice would cry in the wilderness, uh, prepare the way of the Lord. And you can, uh, you can hear the other tune, can't you, from the, um, from the uh, um, Tim Rice and Lloyd Webber, uh, um, that uh, wonderful, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Beautiful song, that one. These ideas are coming to us from deep within the scriptural tradition and the idea of making way that the valleys may be filled in and the mountains made low and the crooked made straight and the, the rough places made smooth, yeah? So that it will be easy. Make way so that it will be easy for us to welcome the, the God who came to us in human form uh, and dwelt among us, uh, etc. The, the whole story of the Christian tradition. And this idea of making way is important for us to grasp in, in Advent because that's what we are invited to do, is to, within ourselves, make way. Um, flatten the bumpy bits, you know, straighten out the, the kinky bits and all that, that kind of thing within us, that it is easier for us than to become the, the dwelling place of the Spirit of God, afresh and anew again. So prepare the way of the Lord. And I particularly like the reading from the epistle to the Philippians because it, it carries some sentiments which are really, really poignant and helpful to us. Um, and I would want to identify with this myself. This is my prayer that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. Beautiful sentiments there about the nature of our desire and aspirations for each other. But in Advent, as we, as we look for new ways of finding ourselves um, more prepared, more ready, more, um, more receptive to the arrival of Christ uh, again and afresh in our minds and our hearts. 
uh, I look to the old early Irish Christian tradition, or shall I say the Gaelic tradition, because it appears in uh, Scotland as well as in Ireland, the old Gaelic tradition of being able to create prayers for everyday circumstances. And the, the wonderful double volume written in the, um, compiled in the 18th, uh, 19th century uh, by um, Carmichael, this idea uh, of gathering all of the prayers that people use daily uh, in, their, in their daily lives and their, their kind of spiritual rituals that they engaged with day by day, um, the Carmina Gadelica. Uh, and I've chosen a selection of prayers from there. I'm not going to read them in the Gaelic because that would be embarrassing for you. I'm going to read them in the English. A prayer, uh, it's called a rune before prayer, this one. And remember, these are ordinary people's prayers. I am bending my knee in the eye of the Father who created me, in the eye of the Son who purchased me, in the eye of the Spirit who cleansed me, in friendship and affection. Through thine own anointed one, O God, bestow upon us fullness in our need, love towards God, the affection of God, the smile of God, the wisdom of God, the grace of God, the fear of God, and the will of God, to do in the world of the three as angels and saints do in heaven, each shade and light, each day and night, each time in kindness, give thou us thy spirit. Beautiful little prayer. Um, uh, an introduction to the time of prayer of the ordinary people in their crofts about their daily work. And then there's another one which is um, beginning our morning prayer. Thanks be to thee, Jesus Christ, who brought us to me up from last night to the gladsome light of this day to win everlasting life for my soul through the blood thou didst shed for me. Praise be to thee, O God, forever, for the blessings thou didst bestow on me, my food, my speech, my work, my health. And I beseech thee to shield me from sin, to shield me from ill, to sane me this night, I and I, low and poor, O God of the poor, O Christ of the wounds, give me wisdom along with thy grace. May the Holy One claim me and protect me on sea and on land, and lead me from step to step to the peace of the everlasting city. Just imagine a prayer like that to wake up in the morning and beautiful. And then a prayer for guidance. God guide me with thy wisdom, God chastise me with thy justice, God help me with thy mercy, God protect me with thy strength, God fill me with thy fullness, God shield me with thy shade, God, fill me with thy grace for the sake of thine anointed Son, Jesus Christ of the seed of David, visiting one of the temple, sacrificial lamb of the garden, who died for me. And then at other times in the day when people are in need of um, justice, here's a prayer for justice. I will wash my face in the nine rays of the sun as Mary washed her son in the rich fermented milk. Love be in my countenance, benevolence in my mind, dew of honey on my tongue, my breath as incense. I will travel in the name of God, likeness of deer, in likeness of horse, in likeness of serpent, in likeness of kin. Stronger will it be with me than all persons. This is a prayer for justice. What we have to know is that these illusions, that the deer is a symbol of wariness, the horse is a symbol of strength, the serpent a symbol of wisdom, and the king a symbol of dignity. And then a prayer for grace. I am bending my knee in the eye of the Father who created me, in the eye of the Son who died for me, in the eye of the Spirit who cleansed me, in love and desire. Pour down upon us from heaven the rich blessings of thy forgiveness. Thou who art uppermost in the city, be thou patient with us. Grant to us, thou Saviour of glory, the fear of God, the love of God, and his affection, 
and the will of God to do on earth at all times as angels and saints do in heaven. Each day and night give us thy peace. There are loads of these. I'm not going to read all of them, but here's just two more for lying down and for sleep. God with me lying down, God with me rising up, God with me in each ray of light, nor I a ray of joy without him, nor one ray without him. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching, every, every day and every night. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and for evermore. The Chief of Chiefs. Amen. Be thou the right hand, O God, under my head. Be thou the light, O Spirit, over my shining. Be thou the cross of the nine angels over me down, from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. O Jesu, without offence, crucified cruelly, under ban of the wicked, thou wert scourged, the many evils done of me in thy body, that I cannot this night enumerate. O thou King of the blood of truth, cast me not from thy covenant, exact not from me for my transgressions, nor omit me in thy numbering. Be the cross of Mary and of Michael over me in peace. Be my soul dwelling in truth. Be my heart free of guile. Be my soul in peace and with thee, brightness of the mountains. Valiant Michael, meet thou my soul, morn and eve, day and night. May it be so. These people produced these prayers for all occasions and um, created them for the purpose at, in, at hand, for the need that they particularly had at that moment. So whatever it was, they would have a prayer for it. And that prayer would place their work in the context of the presence of God. And that's what we're talking about in Advent, working out for ourselves how to place every moment and everything we do in the presence of God, acknowledging God is there, acknowledging the presence of the Spirit, acknowledging our debt of gratitude to Christ in every moment, and seeking to be influenced by that presence in the activity of which we are about to prepare. So in all of these situations, we can be busy thinking, what kind of a prayer do I need right now for the presence of God to be manifest for the thoughts in my head or the words in my mouth to come through the right way for the driving of the car with dignity and and um, mercy and uh, justice for the for the buying of items in the shop with with foresight and and care and knowledge uh, and all kinds of things that we may do picking out what are the necessary and uh, important aspects of those things in order that we may journey along our life day by day, moment by moment with the presence of Christ at the forefront of our minds. So let us carry these ideas and play around with them. We shall be looking uh, next week at a different set of these kinds of prayers and seeing what they do for us and how they work. But just think about that and let your minds dwell on it so that you may be enriched with the knowledge of the coming God. Amen. We stand to declare our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. 
he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Blessed be the Lord our God, who guides our feet into the way of peace. Saving God, you sent John to prepare the way for your Son. Give your church grace to hear the cry of the spiritual wilderness, to hear again the call to make straight, to make easy the way to God. Transform our hearts to be open to your spirit. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Saving God, you sent John to straighten the crooked and level the rocky path, challenge devious minds with your justice and truth. We pray for those who influence public opinion, those who try to corrupt the common good, those who find power too hard to manage with mercy and justice. Raise leaders of integrity and passion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Saving God, you sent John to baptize for repentance and forgiveness. Give to all people humility to examine their lives with honesty and devotion. We pray for those who feel lost, those who seek for forgiveness and cannot find it, those who are abused and usurped, and those who struggle in any kind of way. Turn us away from the deceit of self and others. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Saving God, you sent John empowered by your word. Speak your words of healing to all in anguish or distress. We pray for those who are suffering, those who are ill. We pray for those who care for them, for strength and courage. We pray for any who will fall ill today. Bless us all with your love and mercy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Saving God, you sent John to announce your redeeming presence. Receive into your tender care all who have died. We pray for any who grieve today. Those who mourn the passing of loved ones whose anniversary falls at this time. And especially we pray for any who will die today unprepared. Receive into your tender care those for whom we think. May we come to see your salvation. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so we gather together our personal prayers, the prayers we carry in our hearts and minds, the prayers we have been asked to pray, the prayers of those who have visited this church in the past week, and the prayers of those who could find no words with which to pray. And we offer them to God. Merciful Father, Accept these our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Please stand. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Just before we commence the next hymn, I want to say thank you to those who have worked to decorate our church with the Christmas tree and uh, the um, remainder of the decoration there is a uh, rota please do um, let Linda know if you're available to assist with the remainder of the decoration in the coming days so thank you Linda our next hymn number 134 in the church hymnal make way make way Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest, to make yourself known in the breaking of bread. Amen. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. All glory and honour, thanks and praise be given to you at all times and in all places, Lord, Holy Father, true and living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is your eternal word, through whom you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. In him the day of our deliverance has dawned. We rejoice that through him you make all things new and we look for his coming in power and majesty to judge the world. 
In your great love you gave him to be made man for us and to share our common life. In obedience to your will, your Son, our Saviour, offered himself as a perfect sacrifice and died on the cross for our redemption. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin and reconciled us to yourself, our God and Father. He is our great High Priest, whom you raised from the dead and exalted to your right hand on high, where he ever lives to intercede for us. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit, and made us a royal priesthood, called to serve you forever. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Merciful Father, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, and we pray that we who eat and drink them in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, in obedience to our Saviour Christ, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his body and blood, who in the same night, who on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, and again, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, with this bread and this cup, we do as our Saviour has commanded. We celebrate the redemption he has won for us. We proclaim his perfect sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And we look for his coming to fulfill all things according to your will. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, Unite us in the body of your Son, and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread which we break is a sharing in the body of Christ. We, being many, are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who has taken away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed.
the body of Christ is given for you. The blood of Christ is shed for you. Let us pray. Lord, here you have nourished us with the food of life. Through our sharing in this holy sacrament, teach us to judge wisely earthly things and to yearn for things heavenly. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. 
We stand to sing our final hymn, number 219, in the church hymnal, From Heaven You Came. So I um, encourage you all to be creating little prayers for those moments in your day when you are uh, about to start something. Like for instance, what would a prayer sound like when you had just ordered a latte in the cafe? What would that sound like? Yeah, think on it. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, gladden your hearts, and scatter the darkness from before you, and so the peace of God which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is with you and will remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.